brand new neon. So I'm sure you guys already guessed it. The pet raisers were hard at work yesterday. We made all the neon rares. We're gonna start with the neon orangutan. I have no idea why lately, ever since the update, everybody has been in the middle. Like nobody's in the neon cave anymore. It's so weird to me. So we have our first trade request. I'm super excited about this. I hope that we get good offers for the rares because we didn't get the best offers for the uncommons if you guys saw that video. I've been offered a neon snow owl for just about almost every pet that I've traded so far. And we're going from common all the way to legendary. They hit accept. I bet we could get better offers. My best friend Joss loves this pet. She's literally obsessed with it. She likes it because it reminds her of this Sasquatch and it's kind of an interesting color scheme with the neons. They offered an ancient dragon and a bunch of the new pets. This is only newborn and I'd like to see some other offers. It is very likely that we are just trading these for educational purposes just to see what it's worth. I don't know if I'm actually gonna trade any of these pets though because we do want to make the megas of everything. We're starting with the orangutan because it's personally my least favorite and we're gonna work all the way up to my favorite which is the zebra. If you guys haven't seen the neon zebra yet it looks amazing. They hit accept for all this stuff and as much as I love the reindeer and I do think the neon black mummy cats are cool I'd rather get something better. I definitely don't know if this is the first neon orangutan. Well I do because we made it last night literally on update day. We made almost all of the neons last night. I do like the neon Deinonychus. This is probably my favorite offer so far. I do want to move on to the other two rares, but I just want to see a couple more offers for this. Okay, this person accepted for just an ancient dragon, and if you guys saw, I have pretty good luck with hatching the ancient dragons. I literally got six of them myself. This neon orangutan took a long time for the pet raisers to age, so definitely not worth it. Okay, this offer started off with a neon ride off, but they also put a fly ride llama. The llamas don't get that much love. They're from the farm egg, if you guys didn't know that. So I like the llama. I actually think that's a pretty cool part of the offer, but not the ox. They're like glitch hitting except I don't like when people do that. It makes me feel anxious. Look, see, they're still doing it, but we're gonna decline. Okay, wow, this person offered a dragon train. I literally haven't seen this since the lunar event. And another ancient dragon. I guess everybody else has pretty good luck hatching them too. And then, you know, they're just adding some eggs and a couple of the new pets. Not a bad offer. I literally haven't been offered a dragon train ever, I don't think, before, but I do have one of my own, so I don't need it. Guys, this is a perfect time for a lesson. If you ever meet a birthday cake in game and you want to know if she's real or not, instead of asking, because a fake birthday cake would lie and she would say that she's real, right? Instead of asking, click the little Roblox icon, let's scroll down. It's in alphabetical order, so you would go to the B for birthday cake and you would click on my profile and you would just kind of see my actual username. Just make sure you know what my real username is. It's just birthday cake, B-R-I-T-T-D-A-Y-C-A-K-E. It's all lowercase. That's my username. You shouldn't just ask if I'm the real birthday cake because a fake birthday cake is gonna lie to you. So just because they say they're real doesn't mean that they are, but I definitely am real. Now that that's over, let's get back to treating this orangutan. I really want to move on to the next pet, so I think that this might be the last trade that I take as long as they're actually offering for it. Okay, so they're not actually offering for it. Okay, so here's the neon parakeet, and if you can't tell, yes, all of the pet raisers named these pets. We tried to name it Tide Pod because it kind of looks like a Tide Pod, but we couldn't, so it's Tid Pod. So let's trade this neon parakeet. I feel like it'll get better offers because it definitely looks better, just in my opinion. Oh, this person wants to give me some bats. You guys know I appreciate when you guys give me bats. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going back to trading the neon parakeet. It looks weird in the inventory, but it looks really cute in person. Like, it's actually really, really cute. The blue is just perfect. I do believe they're actually offering for the neon parakeet. They put a preteen king bee. We have a post-teen frog, even a post-teen lamb, and a golden egg. This is actually a solid offer. I know that they said please. Oh, they're saying please a lot. This is actually a really great offer. I don't think that I'm gonna do the trade in the end because we do want to make the megas, but I do really love this offer. Okay, the next offer, we see two out of game pets here. Okay, we have a swan and we have a frog, but everything else is stuff that is still currently in game. I don't see any neon pets, no megas, not any any other really out of game pets other than these two so we're gonna decline okay this person put a ride snow owl and i don't think that they're gonna add anything else they hit accept and they said please but i'm gonna have to decline okay wow a mega neon no potion ibex which if you guys don't remember i believe this was here during the pride event it was like right over here on a rock like right here in front of the nursery and it was a limited time pet and it's mega no potion which is pretty cool i actually love this offer a lot definitely gonna let them know that that's a a solid offer really good offer but we're gonna keep trading i just love the way that this looks this is really really cute and it's so small please tell me this is somebody actually offering for the neon parakeet it's a neon griffin which as you guys know this was the very first robux pet to ever come into the game and it left the 
game. They recently removed it from the Robux shop. But people don't really love the Griffins that much. But I do like this offer. The next pet we were gonna trade was the Neon Zebra. But this person wants to offer for it. So let's just quickly let them offer. So there it is. There's the Neon Zebra. I really want to show it to you guys. Because it's also... You know what? I'm not gonna say anything. For you guys who haven't seen it, I'm just gonna wait. Oh, it looks like they're making their own Neon Zebra. They have a Zebra at team. They added a Dragonfly, a Fly Potion. This is actually not a bad offer for the Neon Zebra. I can tell that they really want it. But I also think that they're gonna be able to make it themselves. And they have a Neon Ant. Oh, they're grinding. They're definitely a Neon Maker. I love the grind. I can respect the grind. I can tell they really want to offer for it. But I really have to treat it. And you guys haven't even seen it yet. And I'm probably gonna keep it for the Mega. But this is a solid offer. Okay, if this is a real offer, I kind of want to take it. But I also think that I'm gonna start trading the Neon Zebra next. They put a Neon Wyvern, a Neon Mouse, a Dragonfly, and a Business Monkey that's full grown. This is my favorite offer. You guys can let me know which was your favorite, but this one's my favorite. Guys, I just couldn't wait to show you. I did come to a new server, but I really wanted to show you the Neon Zebra before we start trading it. Just look how incredible this looks. I can't wait to make this Mega Neon. That's what I have to tell myself. No matter what good offers we get today, I can't trade it because I want to see the Mega. Okay, here we are in the Cake Army server, and like I said, everybody has just been in the middle lately. Don't know what that's about. Did the Neon Cave go out of style and nobody told me? But anyways, let's go ahead and see some offers for this Neon Zebra. Have a feeling we're gonna get some great ones. Already starting off solid with a Neon Camel and a Fly Ride Dilophosaurus. Guys, I really can't wait for you to see the other Neon Pet. For you guys who are already watching, I just want to let you know that we made the Neon Dragonfly last night, as well as the Neon Ancient Dragon, and the Neon Alicorn is on its way, so stay tuned for that video where I trade all the Neon Legendaries. But for now, I think that this is a solid offer for the Zebra. The squids are still hard to get, and the Dragonfly is one of the brand new Legendary Pets, and it's amazing. Whoa, a Mega Sasquatch! That is my friend Josh's favorite pet. They also put a Neon T-Rex. Okay, this cannot be an offer for the Zebra. I know they said please, but there's no way they put a Dalmatian, Neon T-Rex, and a Mega Sasquatch for this. I did type to them that it's an awesome offer, but the chat is lagging. There it goes. There goes my message. Sick offer. Let's keep trading and see if we get something even better than this. Okay, so we got offered a Neon Fly Ride kit today, which as you guys know, the Neon kit todays don't have that much value. I like the last offer way better. We're getting offered a lot of like the new legendary pets. I guess you guys are having some great luck hatching them, which I love that for you. But a newborn legendary pet is not gonna make me trade one of these. Okay, wait, this offer is so solid. It's a bunch of like out of game 